Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine, G3 Boats, Aluminum John Boats, Sportsman Series, Suncatcher Pontoons. They got discounts up to $2,500 on all non-current 2023 models still in stock of G3 Boats. Godfrey Pontoons, discounts up to $2,500 on all non-current 2023 models in stock. Deals on Skeeter Bass Boats, Yamaha Outbar Motors, on and on and on. Now is the time to get to Madisonville Marine, Highway 411 North in Madisonville. Why? because there's no better place to buy a boat than Madisonville Marine. All right, uh, welcome back to Jimmy, Josh, Kevin, Vince, and let's do our second poll game. Poll question of the day, this one's on football. Uh, which poll destination would you prefer? Charlotte, Jacksonville, Nashville, or Tampa? I don't have Orlando in there, though that's a rumor that's been floating around this morning. <laughs> but look at those four, you tell me which is the best bowl destination in your opinion. And let me tell you, if this says Nashville, I will yank the poll down and not let you see the answer at the end. So, all right. Let me ask you this, guys. Uh, the SEC schedule started to leak out this week. Everybody's kind of put together what they expect the rest of it to look like. Let's go ahead and look at that. You got uh, more than likely Chattanooga first, then at NC, or NC State in Charlotte. Then you got Kent State. You're at Oklahoma. Their first SEC game is Josh Heupel's return to Norman. Got an open date. Then you got at Arkansas. Florida, Alabama, and probably Kentucky there, back to back to back at Neyland Stadium, another open date. And then November, you got Mississippi State. I guess Kentucky and Mississippi State could flip-flop there, but more, most people are thinking Mississippi State at Georgia, UTEP at Vanderbilt. I have been hearing people on the radio. I've been seeing it online. Eh, nine and three, ten and two next year. Uh, that seems a bit, I don't know, giddy to me, a bit, a bit overzealous let's let's uh, chat here uh, in terms of what we expect from Tennessee next year with a new quarterback lots of new players across the board because you're losing a lot what's your projection off that schedule you just saw Jimmy mine would be eight and four um, I think there are three games that I think will be very difficult to win uh, Alabama Georgia and at Oklahoma and then somebody else there's some 50 50 games it could be NC State it could be Florida could it be Kentucky nah uh, yeah, not against, but I, yeah. I, I think there's some 50-50 games that, with the uncertainty of the roster. I, I, would, I would go with 8-4 and four right now. 8-4, and four. Josh, what are you looking at? Yeah, 8-4, and 9-3 and three would be the range I would look at. Uh, Oklahoma is exciting from a, a storyline standpoint. It's Oklahoma's first SEC game mm -hmm. as well. Josh Heupel, of course, going back to Norman. Uh, getting Mississippi State and Arkansas is a nice little break. Those are programs mm -hmm. in tough spots. Uh, but... Um, Jeff Lebby will be in there running an offense that looks exactly like Tennessee. So that will be interesting to see how Tennessee <laughs> yeah. defends it and how they defend Tennessee. Tennessee just has, despite some of the topics right. you discovered, a significant uh, talent, talent advantage. Uh, the game will also take six hours, uh, like I am with my <laughs> yeah. response. So uh, I, I think Tennessee 8-4, and 9-3, and three, with some 10-2 and two upside potential if they hit some home runs in the offseason. Wow. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say I'm 8-4, and 7-5. and five. I'm saying you're breaking in a lot of new people. NC State, no, they're having a lot of people leave in the transfer portal already from NC State, so I might want to get them in a bowl. But uh, NC State next year, first uh, not Neyland Stadium game for Nico, that's a question mark to me. Oklahoma, Alabama, Georgia, okay, you got to chalk those up at losses now. Then you're going to drop another one, Arkansas, Florida, Kentucky, Mississippi State. I could see you losing. I'm 8-4, and 7-5 and five for me. Kevin, what are you? Yeah, I can see us being 8-4. and four. Um... All the points that you guys said, I mean, just the roster. But if Nico is who we think he could be, mm -hmm. that might buy you another game. So, yep. then, it, mm -hmm. so then you're looking at 9-3. So, you know, I'm kind of where, where Josh is on it. Okay, 8-4, 9-3. Uh, you're by yourself, John, because I'm in the 8-4, 9-3 range. I would, I would lean a little bit more towards 8-4 right now because, kind of like Jimmy pointed out, the, some of those 50-50 games, I made that mistake this year. You're not going to win all those 50-50 games, especially with a lot of turnover. Yeah. I think they're going to have a lot of roster turnover, so it may take them a while to get it going. Oh, by the way, Nico might get better as the year goes on. But the fan expectation is going to be oh, here yeah. mm -hmm. so much higher than what everybody else thinks. Well, let me think. Right, put the schedule back up if we can, please. I'm, I'm throwing my director for a loop. You could lose to NC State and Oklahoma. I don't know that NC State's a given loss. I'm just saying it could be. Mm -hmm. I'm not laughing at it and saying, oh, you'll beat them. Three. NC State and Oklahoma could be losses. Then Alabama and Georgia, so that's three, uh, maybe four. Arkansas, Florida, Kentucky, Mississippi, let's say you lose one of those. But there's potential there that you got off to a slow start, lose four games. You could win five of your last – let's see, Kentucky, you could win four of your last five games, and it's the old 
well, they remember what you do in November thing. All of a sudden, this team's getting better. Everybody's looking at Nico. You're thinking, hey, 2025 is our year. That's my guess. I'm guessing it's a slow start. People are screaming midseason. It gets better as the year goes on, and everybody cruises into 2025 talking national championships. We'll see. <laughs> Although, I will say this this year. I was the 9-3, and three, could go 8-4. and four. Turns out they went eight and four. So I, right now I'm eight and four, could go seven and five. So beware. <laughs> go ahead and use your, your clicker there on the, uh, the QR code. Tell us which bowl destination you prefer. It looks like Tampa, then Jacksonville, then Nashville over Charlotte. All right, I can deal with Nashville third. But if you want Nashville on there, go ahead and put it up there. Let's see it. When we come back, <laughs> I can mock you. Which bowl will Tennessee Tampa, actually baby. go to? Which bowl will Tennessee actually go to? And in that bowl, should they start Joe Milton or Nico Iamaliava? Come on back on the sports show. 